reporter Shelley Davis live with your local town's news. Today we have lots of interesting stories to cover, one more shocking than ever, but before we get into that, a story on Alexa Mark, becoming specific family savior. It feels absolutely amazing in here. You should come over and cook more often. Your drive right, it smells good in here. Those four years in culinary school weren't for nothing. And besides, I would totally come over and cook more, but you're always traveling. I guess I do stay pretty busy with my work trips. Well, we can go more into that later. Help me set the table, would you? All right. Moving on to more gruesome stories I'm sure everyone has been wondering and waiting for. The events of the recent serial killer. This morning, a body, undefined, was found in the center pond. So, where was it this time? Bahamas, Hawaii. Bahamas, this time. Ah, I see. Anyways, when is Elena going to get here? The food is ready, and it's going to get cold. She doesn't show up fast. Don't worry, she'll be here. Will she? She's always fashionably late. Fashionable? I'm not so sure. Don't worry about it. She'll be fine. The body was placed there as a homicide due to many wounds. Police have yet to identify any suspects, but officials are still on the search. This is now the eighth body found in a body of water, with similar incisions to the neck. So the police station has deemed this murder to be under the same killer, out in their own neighborhoods. If anyone has any information on the subject, please bring it up with the town. We are in a very dangerous time, and anything will help. Please do not be afraid to hesitate and call. Oh, no. You're I know you can tell us anything, right? Do you hear the news? Yes? What you're hearing right now, I, I saw the body. I, I didn't see him get murdered or anything, but I was just doing my job last night at the late shift of the town hall, and I was going and turning off all the lights, and I noticed the basement light was on. It's usually never on. Like, no one ever goes down there. I've maybe seen it, like, once. And as I started walking down, the lights went off. I just thought I would go and leave, but that's when I heard a bang. I rushed out to see what happened, and it was the body, the body from the news. Well, I mean, there's no reason to worry about it. You may have just been tired from a long day of work and seen something else. Also, did you see that the lights were out? I'm telling you, I swear I saw it. It scared me half to death. Well, whether you saw it or not, there's one thing you don't want to do. Elena, don't involve yourself with the police. You don't know what you saw. They don't have any suspects left. They may think it's you. Look, we don't want you to get hurt during the process. Why would I get hurt? The police station is not where to go. Us girls have to stick together on things. And besides, it's a man's job to figure out who's done it. A man's job? I can speak up for myself if I want to. No, Elena, when have you ever done that? You know what? I'm gonna prove both of you wrong. I can stand up for myself, and if I can't go to the police, then I'll figure out the murders all by myself. Nine, I'd make believe The good guy always caught the thief The room went dark and I couldn't sleep I was in over my head At 15 I would look around And all my friends had it figured out They all thought it but they never said I
you have something to say? How are you so sure this could have been us? I don't see any evidence. Oh, you want to see proof? First off, Audrey, you said you went to the Bahamas for a work trip, correct? Yes. And you said your flight was eight hours. Uh-huh. Well, since I couldn't go to the police station, I had to do some research on my own. And I found out trips to the Bahamas from coming out of the Boston airport only take six hours, so you were lying. And just to add, you conveniently were traveling on a business trip every week that the murders occurred, giving you the perfect alibi. How does that prove anything? Audrey simply could have forgotten the number of hours she was on the plane. And besides, her traveling was could have just been a simple coincidence. Quinn, do you mind if I check out one of your steak knives that we used earlier from brunch? Um, sure. Why? Well, I think you'll find this next piece of information very telling. Let's head on to the kitchen so I can show you the evidence. The knives are over here. This. This is the identical knife to the one I found in the basement of the town hall. See? Except this one, this one right here, this has blood. You murdered with this knife. I know it's you two. It's the same slit to all the wounds on the people. And you two didn't even do a good job of cleaning up the evidence. I mean, I'm shocked that no one else has found it. My one question is just, why are you two killing these innocent people? You guys can get anything you want with your wealth. One kill. You figured it out. I knew you could do it. You're one of us now, Elena. I'm one of who? You've proven yourself to be part of the WIP by figuring out our little secret. What's the WIP and... You haven't answered any of my questions. And the WIP, you ask, stands for Women in Power. We are an all-female organization that takes care of, well, some people. Hold on. Certain people? I don't want to be a killer. I just want to stop you both and apparently this whole organization. We don't kill innocent people. Just those who have done wrong in this world. You see, the man we took out in Town Hall, his name was Sean Sullivan, and he was far from innocent. He committed assault and battery on several women. And the federal government doesn't even know this man exists. What the WIP does is find these malicious and cruel people and stop them before they can commit any other crimes. All right, this makes a little bit more sense, but why me? It's just all so crazy. Why do you want me a part of this? Elena, I knew from the moment I met you that you were very clever. You put the pieces together on just about everything and you even figured out what Quinn and I were up to. We've been needing a new girl on the team, and I think you'd be a great addition to the organization. I gotta say, Elena, I didn't know if you had it in you, but you should appear with some confidence, and I think this life could really do some good for you. Well, this is your decision now, so are you in? see you. It can't see you. <laughs> see me now? <laughs> Chloe, did you kill someone? Yes, I did. <laughs>